Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon games for the Nintendo GameCube. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon is a port of the 2001 tactical shooter, but unlike the PC version where you could control 3 squads, here you can control only 2. But in Rust it has the same gameplay mechanic. You can edit your soldiers and choose their weapon loadout, during gameplay you can play as all of the soldiers and switch mid gameplay within them. You can issue commands like attack or regroup and you can also tell your teammates to meet you at rally points by simply targeting the spot where you want them to meet and pressing a button. And there's a difference between the PC version and this one. Here you get a threat detector. The game tells you where the enemies are, which for hardcore Ghost Recon fans is a turn off because it loses its strategic stealth feel because you know where the enemies are from miles away. Also compared to the PC version, the GameCube one looks ugly. If you were to play Ghost Recon and had the option to choose, I would recommend you to play it on PC. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon 2 is the non-Microsoft version of Recon, and by that I mean that the Xbox had one version and the PS2 and GameCube another one. And the two versions were so distinct that you can tell that they are different games. They even have a different story. What you get on PS2 and GameCube is the prequel to what happens on the Xbox. They even were developed by different teams. And the gameplay is what you would expect from the title. But to get to the gameplay, you first have to wait through long loading screens. And after all that time waiting, for the game to load, what do you see? The frame rate chucks. As deep as the gameplay can be on this tactical shooter, and as fun as Ghost Recon 2 can be, I don't recommend you play the game on an original GameCube. But a good part is that by using an emulator, you can fix this stuff. You can fix the chuggy frame rate. And with the frame rate fixed, it's the classic. Tom Clancy Ghost Recon experience you would expect from a game like this. And it's awesome. So yeah, if you've played the game on Xbox, just know that the PS2 and GameCube version is actually a prequel of that one, so it's a different story. And if you've played this one, just know that on the Xbox, a new story awaits for you if you play the game there.